All right. Got out of uh, F9, and it is just called F9, not F9 the Fast Saga, not Fast and Furious 9. Just F9, you know, new Fast and Furious movie. De you know, like many delayed from last year. I think this was going to come out around Memorial Day last year. I'm exhausted. <laughs> that is an overstuffed movie. Like, okay. I, like, I'm not one of these people who, like, ironically likes the Fast and Furious movies. I genuinely like them. Like, I think some of them are, you know, some of the best action movies of the last 20 years. I, you know, I think the first one's still the best for me, but, I mean, I think, like, I think 5, 6, 7, and 8 are all pretty great. Um, this I don't put on that level. Um, I think it's pretty good. Like, it's, 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 it's good just on the surface as an action movie. Like, it, it's, but taking it, you take it as this whole series, like, this is just so much. I, I think I had kind of a similar reaction to the last Mission Impossible movie where they just shoved in so much stuff, so many characters, so much, so much, so many callbacks to things. Like, it's exhaust. it is really exhausting <laughs> watching, having watched this movie. Um... You know, and it does go to a little more of a cartoony level too. Maybe I'll get to that. I don't know how long I'm gonna do this, but um, so kind of the plot is, you know, and all, most of this is in the trailer. The trailer gave away a lot of shit in this movie, but um, you know, there's John Cena. He's he's Vin Diesel's brother, and he's a bad he's the bad guy in this, and they're doing some. They got once again. That's this is like at least the second movie in the series, maybe even more. Where there's like this MacGuffin item that they that they're chasing after. I forget what they even called it. Um, it's like this thing that can control satellites. Like, weren't they just doing that in the last one? I think. Um, but uh, you know, so there's like this thing they're chasing, and it, basically, right as this movie begins, uh, like Vin Diesel and the, and the and the team, the whole team, you know, gets pulled back into this this mission. Um, and so, you know, they're going after John Cena. Charlize Theron pops up again, like her character from the last one. Um, she spends a big chunk of the movie basically being Hannibal Lecter, <laughs> just being <laughs> held behind glass. Uh, but like I said, they pack in everything. Like, everybody is in this movie. It is, it's really insane, because, like, they bring it back Han. That was, that was mentioned in the trailers, obviously, you know. So they bring back Han. Han's got like a not a daughter, but a a, a girl, like a young girl who he's like um kind of like the, the guardian of who's like who's like a badass herself. She can like do kung fu and shit. So she's in there. They bring back um Jordana Brewster in this one. She wasn't in, I'm pretty sure she wasn't in the last one. Um they bring back Helen Mirren for a scene or two. They, they're, you know, John Cena's got like another guy, like another like bad guy, like the money man he's working with. They bring back um, Lucas Black from Tokyo Drift, although he was in the, I forget, it, they bleed together a little bit. I think he was in six, um, but they bring him back. They bring back Bow Wow, <laughs> I, I, who's not even going by Bow Wow anymore. He's not. They didn't. I didn't see Bow Wow in the credits, so they he must go by his like whatever his real name is. And there was another guy with them, and I, I'm not familiar enough with my Tokyo Drift lore. He might, he might have been a character in the, in that movie too. And of course, Kurt Russell's in this thing for a little bit, um, and you know, <laughs> it's, it's it's like they bring back everybody, like the, it makes it even more kind of stand out that like, well, how come uh, how come the Rock's not in it? How come Statham's not in it? You know, it, it's just, it's 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 exhausting, and they have to give stuff for everybody to do. You know, which you know. So there's all this stuff going on. There's there's points where there's like five different locations that we're all cutting between. You know, and yes, they go to space. That was a fucking that was the fucking you know joke that was going around like oh they're going to end up going to space in a fast and furious movie well they kind of do for, for a very small uh, part of this movie now they kind of lean into the joke there's there's like one of the all-time scenes early in the movie where 
you know, it's the, it's the old cliche in, a, in an action movie where the bad guys are just firing off bullet after bullet and they can't hit anybody. <laughs> and they make a joke out of it. So they, they kind of lean into it a little bit on a couple things here. You know, Tyrese gets to do his, his, his comedy thing. Um, you know, but it's exhausting, man. This is an, it, it's, you know, it's too much. It's two and a half hours. Oh, I did. I forgot to even fucking mention. They basically have a whole chunk of this movie that's a prequel, which shows the younger Vin Diesel and the younger John Cena, and we see like their dad die, which has been talked mentioned in the in the series before. There's all you know. There's a whole big chunk of this movie. Oh, and they bring in Michael Rooker for a. He's got a. He's got a role. You know, with 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 the pre with the kind of the prequel stuff. There's like probably twenty minutes of the movie that's flashbacks to the the younger <laughs> versions of these characters so they throw that in there too there's just so much and maybe most most people don't care like they're just like hey i'm i'm taking my time i'm spending my money and my time and i want to see as much as i can see for that for that money i think this would have been a whole lot better they could have i mean and I, I don't know i think i think they're still trying to Trying to do one final movie. I don't know what the fuck is left at this point. Like they should have just. They could have easily done two, maybe three movies out of all the stuff they throw throw into this. Because it's just it's like I keep saying it's just exhausting. There's so much going on and there, and there's so many characters to to deal with, and there's so much plot and then and, you know and then of course you have you have to fit in a bunch of action sequences which take which you you know. Are mostly pretty good. There's a lot of like really like I think more than some of the other ones. There's a lot of like really some of it looks really fake, you know. And obviously a lot of it is fake because obviously this there's there's like the, this, these movies don't really obey the laws of physics anymore. They're like Captain America's shield. They don't really obey any any law that we know. Um, but you know there's some there's some there's some good stuff with the action, no doubt, and you know. You know, and there's some good, there's some good, good laughs in there, and there's some good stuff. And like, it's not even like the stuff that's in there is is bad. It's just it's too much, and there's so much in there, and you gotta service all of it. You, a lot of it gets lost. Like, like even John Cena. Like, I think John Cena has been good in a couple things that he's acted in before. Here, he just kind of is like, he's like really serious the whole thing, you know. Like not that not that you know some of these other not, not that like Vin Diesel is Mister uh, you know charisma or anything, but I mean he's had he's had chances to kind of you know show he can act. I don't I I reject reject the idea that Vin Diesel can act. He can act and he's and he's good. Not necessarily in this. This is kind of he's he's a little bit in the not that he's mailing it in, but he's he's definitely not. Uh, I don't know. He's not quite as good in this as some of the other ones. Like, I would say best of the of all the returning things. I mean, Michelle Rodriguez probably gets the best stuff to do. Um, but again, it's just exhausting. There's too much. This is F nine. It's like, <laughs> you know, save some. You know, they're gonna make another one. I know it. I mean, there's that there is a post credit thing where they tease. I guess something that's going to happen in the next one, although I'm a little confused by why they would have this in it because supposedly the thing that would cause these two characters who we see to be mad at each other didn't happen. There's a lot of retconning in this movie too. Um, <laughs> you know, and I've seen, I've seen all these movies and some of them a lot, but you know, they, they kind of go back and just re and retcon things over and over. It's, it's like, you know, okay, Han's alive. And they, and they, of course, they do the thing again. I don't think this is too much of a spoiler. They do the thing again where the bad guy kind of becomes a good guy at the end. Yes, I'm sorry. Spoilers alert. John Cena ends up, you know, reconciling towards the end and helping them, which they've done in, like, a couple of these movies now. But, you know, I'm all on board with this series still. I'm, I'm, I, I will look forward to the next one, which should be called Fast 10, Fast 10, Fasten, um, I don't know what the, what's left, but <laughs> I guess, you know, 
They can maybe get The Rock back in there. I don't know. He hates Vin Diesel, so it's probably not going to happen. But, like, I don't know. <laughs> it's not a bad movie. I'm sure most people will like it. I don't like it nearly as much as, as the last, I guess, the last four. So, I think there's nine of them. So, I'd probably put this ahead of, uh, I'd still put it ahead of Tokyo Drift and probably probably uh, probably two and four. I'd pro- you know, Yeah, I'd probably put two and four. You know, first one's still the best. I think five through eight are all really good. I would put this, you know, after those. So, so whatever that would be, like maybe a out of ten, maybe a seven. You know, but uh, yeah, <laughs> just it's exhausting. <laughs> Take a be warned that it's it's a, it's it's a, it's an exhausting movie. But there, you know, it's not exhausting like. Like, you just are just not entertained. You're at least entertained while you're being just just uh, overloaded with stuff. But uh, I'm sweaty in the car. I'm going to go uh, get this AC on and go home. <laughs>